Starfish's real home is at the bottom of the ocean, but this one occupies more than 700,000 square meters of land, 45 kilometers south of Beijing. Due to the Asian powerhouse's ongoing economic expansion, Beijing Dashin International Airport, which was inaugurated by President Xi Jinping in September 2019, is anticipated to become the world's largest airport. Fasten your seatbelts because we're about to take off. This massive project was designed by Zaha Hadid, who tragically died before her great masterpiece could be completed. It has created a lot of buzz, mostly because of its many accolades, but also because of its strange look. BDIA is anticipated to accommodate up to 100 million passengers per year in the long run. That's just one of the numerous mind-boggling statistics associated with this new airport. Playing a little numbers game is the greatest approach to get a sense of the scope of this project. The overall surface area is 700,000 square meters. There are six runways, 50 boarding bridges for passengers, 3,000 flight display screens, 186 boarding gates, 422 check-in counters, and 63 baggage belts. But arguably the most astonishing aspect of this enormous monstrosity is the staggering sum of money spent on its construction, 51 billion euros. To put this figure into context, this is the cost of sending 662 brave souls to the moon as space tourists, or the cost of building a hundred of the world's largest cruise ships. In fact, with this amount of money, the world hunger crisis could be averted seven times over. But it's probably time for us to get back to reality. Work on the Dashing Airport began in December 2014, and the terminal's steel construction was completed in June 2017. The main point of building it was to relieve pressure off of Beijing Capital International Airport. What's inside? A center hub is surrounded by six curving spokes. Inside the center, a huge rolling atrium is supported by eight massive C-shaped pillars, each with a 350-foot-wide skylight at the top, allowing natural light to stream in from all sides. The domestic and international terminals are layered on top of each other, allowing the massive airport to fit under one roof and provide visitors with access to all of its services regardless of how far they're traveling. It's huge, yet because of its ingenious starfish design, you'll never have to travel more than 10 minutes from the center to the farthest entrance in each wing. Dashing is also placing a big investment in art. The Beijing-based Central Academy of Fine Arts was entrusted with creating art spaces throughout the airport, from VIP lounges to courtyards and wings. The airport also has dynamic movable seating, featuring seniors' design seats, adaptable benches, and pebble-like stools, as well as interactive LED art panels that come to life as you walk past. Apart from art and a wealth of shop choices from both foreign and Chinese companies, there isn't much more to do in terms of entertainment for the time being. If you want to keep yourself entertained on your journey, remember to get a VPN. China has blocked Google, Instagram, Facebook, Netflix, and Twitter, among other websites. Dashing Airport has a number of passenger facilities in addition to its architecture. It boasts a five-star hotel, a fitness center, and showers in the East Lounge for travelers who want to rest between flights. Additional amenities include a beauty spa, commercial complexes, and five gorgeous Chinese gardens. The airport honors the history in this area. The five gardens sit at the end of each of the giant starfish structure's corridors. Not only that, but each park has its own style and theme. The silk, tea, porcelain, Chinese, and countryside gardens are among the attractions. Furthermore, the plants in these gardens make full use of the natural light. At Dashing Airport, your face is your identity. The starfish's most remarkable feature is its cutting-edge facial recognition technology. With this innovation, airport check-in is reported to be as simple as throwing a coin. The Dashing Airport's check-in process will be entirely automated. The airport exudes elegance and sophistication, and digital check-in expedites the process. It can handle 260 passengers each hour of check-in. More than 400 check-in stations will be available to save travelers time. The fact that travelers are not required to provide ID is impressive. Not only that, but there are no obligations for displaying tickets or checking luggage. All that is required is for a person to enter the airport, show their face, and the computers will do the rest. Computer data allows it to recognize who the individual is and where they want to go, as well as assisting them in getting there. What and where to eat. Dashing's 70 food and beverage establishments ensure that you will never go hungry. Hot balls of ramen are available at Japanese chain Ajisen Ramen. Traditional Chinese food is available at pre check in Laosha Tea House. Plant based Veggie Tiger serves forks meat. And filled dumplings are available at both Loki Family Dumpling and Swankia Crystal Jade. The Dining Room, a minimalist cafe located both before and after security check, features traditional Shanghai-style dim sum, in addition to tried-and-true staples such as dandan dan noodles and pork cutlets.
For those seeking Western cuisine, there is the American-style but Beijing-based eatery Blue Frog, which serves wraps and burgers, the Shanghai-based healthy concept Element Fresh, which serves salads and healthful sandwiches, and Godiva, which serves chocolate-covered goodies. A Starbucks reserve is the ideal location to refuel on coffee and take advantage of the new 5G network when it opens. Haiti, the tea shop franchise beloved by Chinese millennials, has a stylish outlet in Dashing. And if you're searching for something stronger, keep in mind that while there is plenty of food available, bars are generally confined to luxury lounges. Hyperfast Bullet Train Apart from the numerous technical developments that make Dashing Airport a dream, it is connected to two hyperfast bullet trains. These operate at exceedingly high speeds of 250 km per hour, saving passengers around 20 minutes in journey time. The trains connect to Beijing's western stations and provide three classes, first, business, and second. They are also equipped with additional aisle space of about one meter to accommodate more luggage. More modifications are planned, including the expansion of the airport express north of the Lidze Business District section, where in-town check-ins will be accessible. The Beijing Xiong'an Intercity Railway Line is still under construction, but it will soon be possible to travel by train from Beijing West Rail Station to central Beijing in 11 minutes. The Intercity Railway Connector, which would connect Daxing and Beijing Capital Airport directly, is expected to be completed by the end of 2022. For the time being, plan your travel accordingly to ensure that you arrive on time for your trip and have enough to spare to tour the new mega airport. Beijing Daxing Airport's Sustainable Features the airport integrates sustainable energy solutions in addition to being authentically beautiful. The building is powered by solar panels, and there is also a rainwater collecting and management system. The latter stores and purifies water in neighboring wetlands, lakes, and streams, preventing flooding in the surrounding communities. To offer effective and environmentally friendly heating, a ground source heat pump and waste heat recovery system are used. Because of the distinctive layout, less ground transportation is necessary to move passengers between terminals, resulting in reduced pollution. The airport is proof that beautiful design can be combined with eco-friendly technologies to cut carbon emissions. This truly is an incredible megastructure of the future. Let's hope more airports will be like this brilliant architectural piece. What are your thoughts about this mega project? Are you planning to visit this marvelous airport? Do let us know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if so, then give it a thumbs up and ring the notification bell button for our latest updates. If you have any ideas for topics you'd like us to cover, you know what to do. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.